welcome everyone to our superfoods for health and beauty. And I am Marge with AllNaturalCosmetics.com and also the owner of Natural Spa. And I would like to talk to you right now about absorption of ingredients in your skin. Did you know that your skin is your largest organ? If you want to look at the first handout I gave you, you may wonder, well, how much is absorbed actually in your skin? There have been some studies done, uh, as it says here at the University of Pittsburgh, where they studied contaminants in public drinking water, and they found that about 64% uh, is absorbed in your body, and also it can be up to 100%, depending on what it is. It says uh, caffeine is absorbed through the skin at 48% while DDT is absorbed at 10%, and fragrance, which is used in so many body care products, is absorbed 100%. So that is a major issue because a lot of fragrance contains chemicals unless it's an essential oil fragrance. So it's very important to scrutinize your products to see if there's any fragrance in them because fragrance has been shown to cause neurotoxin issues. So that is a main concern with absorption. Also, if you go to the second handout, I'm just gonna briefly go through this. Um, the author wrote a book, Look Great, Live Green, and she talks about absorption correlating it to when someone has a nicotine patch that they're wearing to try to stop smoking. And so obviously that is being absorbed into the skin if it's you know right on your skin like that. So so many people question, well, can a skincare product be absorbed? Well, look at a nicotine patch. Isn't it pretty much the same kind of thing <laughs> right on your skin? So that's proof right there about absorption. She talks about the top products to look for to make sure that they have quote unquote clean ingredients. Number one is anything you soak in. So bubble bath. I don't know if any of you still do that. That was a thing more of the past, I think, or for little kids. But if you're soaking in it, you really need to look at what, what are the ingredients in it. Number two, anything you apply and do not wash off. So that is a lot of product. Could be your facial creams, your makeup, um, any kind of body oils. Those are all staying on your body. Number three is body powder. Number four is shampoo and conditioner. And you may think, well, that's just going on my hair. Well, actually, it's going over your whole body because you're washing rinsing and it's going all over your skin so it's important to know what is in your hair care products number five any product you put on your child a child's skin is very delicate and it's appalling to me that baby wipes contain really bad ingredients I was shocked I had a customer came in here and she brought all of her products that were underneath her sink to, for me to look at to tell her if they contain toxins. And she showed me the baby wipes and I looked at the ingredients and I could not believe the chemicals that they're putting in baby wipes. It's, it's a crime to me because children shouldn't be exposed to those kind of chemicals when they're an infant. You know, right from the start, they're being exposed to, to cam bad chemicals. Go on the next page it talks about the top 10 products to avoid or scrutinize and on there what I feel is the most important besides baby wipes is number eight deodorant deodorant is going underneath your arms and your underarm area is considered one of the most delicate areas of your body that it can be absorption at a higher level. And so it's, I tell people, if you 
want to find at least one or two things to change in your body care to natural, you should stick with a natural deodorant and the other one would be a natural lipstick. And that's because you are actually eating your lipstick. <laughs> you may not think about that, but put it on in the morning and then what are you going to do through the day? You're going to lick your lips, you're going to eat something, you're going to drink some water, and then the lipstick is gone. Well, where did it go? In your body. So those are the two items that I am very strong about changing. 